We've got our banner SC210 safety controller mounted in our control panel and wired up. And now we're ready to set it up. Now, before we go over to the computer, let's talk about safety inputs and safety outputs. So in the case of this system, we have a set of banner light curtains. That is a safety input. It's something that it will be looking at. We also have an emergency stop. That would also be an input. And then we actually have a combination of an input and an output on our gate here. So it is a locking gate. So whether it is closed or not will be an input. Now, when it goes to lock it while it's in operation, that would be an output. Along with that, we have several other outputs. We do have safety on our RCX340. And we have a pair of redundant safety contactors that are powering up our spindle motor. And we have some lessons that talk through various safety devices. But let's talk about how easy it is to set this up. We're going to open up the banner safety controller software, which you can download for free from their website. And we are using the SC10 series. We might play with the SXC26 at some point. And we're going to hit continue. And what I love about this is they've really broken it down into some basic steps to get your configuration done. Now, before we actually go through this next step, know that you really need to consult someone like a TUV Rhineland certified safety engineer before you commission one of these systems. All we're kind of going through is how the actual software works. But in our case, we are obviously going to be using the contacts off of it, which are already there. And then we're going to hit the add here. And we're going to go out and go grab ourselves an optical sensor, which in our case is a light curtain. And that default configuration will work fine for us. Then we're going to go get ourselves a safety gate. Be that one. And then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an e-stop. And that designates what our equipment is out of our safety system. So next we have the functional view. And it's already laid it out kind of for us where we just need to know what needs to go where. And so we want to turn on our safety system whenever all three of these are good or an AND statement. So we'll hit an AND. And we're going to have three attributes going into it. And we'll grab the first one and touch it to there. The second one and touch it to there. The third one and touch it to there. And all of that, we're going to want to go into a reset. So let's go to our functional box, and we're going to grab the latch reset, and that goes into there. And then this goes out over to here. And then we need our reset input, and we're going to go grab a virtual non-safety input, because we are going to do this over Ethernet, and that'll be a virtual manual reset. And our reset bit address, we are going to use zero on and click OK. And then that'll go to there. And then that gets our first set of contacts going. Now we need our second set of contacts going. Well, we want these to energize whenever these are energized. So we're just going to click here and we are going to grab our reference for that R01. And we'll put it there to there. And that's going to get us there. But let's talk about a few other things before we actually put this into the safety controller. Is that also lays out exactly how we need to do our wiring. Also gives a nice little functional ladder logic how it is. And we're going to need some of this here in a little bit. Is when we go to into Studio 5000, this also shows us where to configure our bits. So we're going to be on the Ethernet IP assemblies. And we're going to talk about that in the next video. Once you connect to the USB, you'll have the redesign controller and write for controller buttons. You cannot download to this one through Ethernet. So go ahead and write. And then let's go ahead and monitor it here. What I really love is how clear it is what it's waiting on. So if I stick my hand in the light curtain, it highlights that light curtain and makes it really clear that we need to go back and look at this AND statement. If I press the E-stop, it's really clear there. And if I open up the safety gate, it's really clear. 
And then finally, it shows me now I need to press the safety reset. When I press it, I get my outputs. Now that we have it configured in our banner safety controller software, let's talk about how we can connect the SC210 to our Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC. Click here to follow me over there.